Hi guys, welcome back to Reading the Word and Understanding the Bible verse. Today in Nehemiah, I read chapter 12 and chapter 13 and then we're done with Nehemiah. And what I find interesting is pretty much all chapter 13. Um, so what happens is Nehemiah leaves Jerusalem and still goes to serve the king of King Alexis. Um, in Babylon, and sometime later, it doesn't say the time, but he comes back. Um, he comes back to Jerusalem, and he founds Jerusalem kind of in chaos, because the men went to go went to go marry other women, and marrying other women brought sin back to. Jerusalem, because they, because other women will bring false gods to Jerusalem, and men also start worshiping him. So, this is in chapter thirteen, verse twenty-five. This is what Nehemiah did. I rebuked them and called curses down on them. I beat some of the men and pulled out their hair. I made them take an oath in God's name and said. You are not to give your daughters in marriage to their sons, nor you are to take their daughters in marriage for your sons or for yourselves. Was it not because a marriage like this that Solomon, king of Israel, sinned? So this is why I like about this so much, is because it's teaching us that we, it's teaching us that Solomon and the still the Israelite men still marry foreign women, and it still caused them to sin because the women brought foreign gods to Jerusalem, and the men start following and start worshiping in them, just like King Solomon did. So we have to remember that that when you find somebody, the first thing you have to do is see if they're a follower of Christ. See what their walk is in the Lord. And see where they are. That's the first thing we have to do as Christian men, is to remember that we're here to worship and celebrate God and spread His light into the world. And if your wife or partner is not doing that, we, you can't accept that. Because Solomon failed, Israelites failed, and you would do the same thing. You would fall into that same sinful trap. So, we remember that today as you go out into the world and think about that. So, I pray that we have a good day, blessed day. Love you guys. God bless. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.